It is my first time, so I was contacted uh, by Coralie and uh, I didn't know about uh, the event. But I looked it up and uh, I immediately found it a fantastic uh, event, which I would be happy to, to contribute to. So uh, very happily surprised uh, from the start. Well, I think, so I'm, I have a research uh, background, so what I do mostly is it's research, it's connecting with many disciplines, but still science. And so what, what brings the, this, uh, this summit together is, is uh, much broader. So you have people uh, from commercial sectors, from the music industry, uh, but also scientists. So it's, it's a very nice mix of people involved with uh, music and entertainment. And uh, for us, we're always looking for uh, how can we make impact based on, on the research. And, and so uh, often it, it stops at, at the research level, although we want to, to, to have more impact and to go to, to the market and to the people. Uh, and so this event uh, really um, facilitates to, to, to do that, to, to learn to know people, how, how the industry works. And so we can connect to that. And, and for us scientists, this is very relevant. And I think the opposite is through as well, that we can contribute something to, to the market as well, but then more on the fundamental knowledge uh, level. So my research is uh, situated in music tech. Um, so it's experimental research on uh, the impact of music on the body, general. And so we extend that to, to sports and motor rehabilitation. And we look at how music can be of benefit for, for sports activities and, and motor rehabilitation uh, in its many dimensions, going from motivation to, to having impact on, on the movement performance uh, itself. And so we do experimental research within scientific projects. Um, and yeah, I think we, we contribute to gaining knowledge on on that relationship of music and, and body movement and, and the mind also. And so we hope to, to, to bring something also to, to fields of application. On the body, yes. So uh, music, it's all about rhythm, right? And pace. <laughs> and, pace. Yes. and many sports is about rhythm as well. Uh, if you think about it, running, uh, swimming, cycling, it has a certain cadence, right? And so music, the structure of music can support this aspect of, of movement performances, right? It provides a kind of temporal support to time your movements. Um, but we can also go a step further by manipulating this structure in the music. People often spontaneously follow the beat or temporal structures. And so that, that is a kind of principle we, we test, uh, for instance, with running. And so we have an application called D-Jogger and the D-Jogger automatically aligns music from your playlist um, to your uh, running cadence. And so you're in control of the beat like a DJ, therefore D-Jogger. Um, and so it gives a kind of pleasant feeling and by manipulating this connection, this coupling between the music and your cadence, we can also have an impact and change cadence. And we can increase the pace or uh, decrease uh, the pace. Um, we also work on posture uh, with stroke patients, for instance. Often they have disability uh, or disbalance problems. Um, and so with music, we, we provide feedback about this, about the fact that their posture is not right, that they have increased risk for for uh, injuries uh, in the back and knees and so on and so with music we 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 uh, develop some strategies to give information and and to change this this balance into a correct uh, posture so we capture their balance and it's it's you can you can um, uh, think about an fm radio an old radio so if you you had to look for for the, the the right spot and then you had the clear sound and we apply this idea as well to balance so if people are in balance we we track that with a balance plate and so if they are fully in balance they get nicely sounding music if they are a bit off then we add a little bit of noise to it and so people spontaneously look for the for the harmonic sound for the nice sounding music and and so we can kind of guide them to 
uh, take the, the correct uh, posture in this area. We do the same thing with uh, weightlifting, for instance. Uh, deadlifts, it's very important that you keep your back straight. Uh, and so we, we also provide this uh, awareness about posture through music. The, the music in that respect is, is not so important. Of course, we always like to start from preferred uh, music in their own databases. But the, the idea is that we, we work with deformations of the music um, so if your back is not straight enough, then we like the FM example, we also add a little bit of noise, a little bit of deformation, and so people uh, are aware about this and they can play a little bit with it um, until they find the correct posture and then they, they can do the pull. <laughs> we know that the tempo is important, we know that meter is important for running, so a 4-4 is, is mm. better than, than a 3-4. Um, also tonality, uh, there are some patterns uh, and, and, and so th that is a kind of AI, a kind of machine learning pattern recognition um, that we do. Uh, we also work with more mathematical models, which is a bit technical, but coupled oscillator models to, to synchronize music automatically to, to detected body movement. So there is quite a lot of modeling and pattern recognition uh, going on, which you could say it's, it's AI. But we look into it and we, of course, with the whole boom nowadays, it, it's, it will increase also in our research. Well, I think, again, it's from, from person to person. Uh, I, I listened a bit to Goa trance uh, this morning. Okay. <laughs> this gives me uh, good energy. <laughs> <laughs>